You know, I was just got home from the grocery store, and I was putting my items on the the conveyor, the conveyor belt thing that takes the food into the checkout stand. You know, they got those things. I'm out of breath. Those dividers that that says this is where your groceries end, and this is where my groceries begin. And I got to thinking, you know what? Those things are everywhere. There's at least four grocery stores in my town. And I bet you at each grocery store, there's 10 checkout stands. That's 40 checkout stands. And each checkout stand has two or three. That's like 120 of those little rubber dividers. And I thought, where do they get these? Who, who is manufacturing these things? Is there like a big grocery divider plant somewhere in the world? And who does that job? Who does marketing for grocery dividers? Who does sales for grocery dividers? Who has to go to their in-laws and answer their mother-in-law when she says, so Tommy, what are you going to do to support our daughter? <laughs> and he'll say, oh, don't worry, Mrs. Johnson. I'm in grocery market, grocery dividers. I'm in dividers. It's a good business. And who does that for 30 years? Is, I want to meet the guy who's started, got out of college, went to the grocery store divider plant and started working and retired there. I mean, what did they give him for severance when he retired? Like a golden grocery divider? They presented it to him at the banquet and it was engraved. 30 years of grocery divider service. Oh, I mean, I just wonder about things like that. <laughs> I'm going to look into that. Yeah. What if, what if back in the old days they did wood dividers because they didn't have plastic? That's a whole other question.